How you going? Oh, I'm very excited to bring to you guys this little bit of video that my daughter's made and I need to explain before you watch it what happened because she lost a lot of footage on this mission. It was a three day adventure, two nights away and three nights in the bush, possuming, and she's a student who's at Taipatini Outdoor Education course at Greymouth and as students they don't have a lot of money so this was a way for her to get a little bit of extra money. She was harvesting possum for the fur, we sell the fur and it can fetch quite good prices here in New Zealand. I think she made about $60 from this trip. Also, my patrons are paying for this video. I've paid her in effect for it for my patron, and so thank you patrons for this. She was connected up with in this trip by Poldy at the end of it, and they kayak out. Thanks Poldy for filming the last bit. Enjoy the video guys, and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed Data's videos, and if you want to see more from her, let us know, and we'll create more for the channel. Enjoy. Hey guys, it's Dayla here. Welcome to one of my short stories. I'm currently driving up the Mataki Taki Valley and I'm going to walk up a creek to a spot where I'm going to be camping for the next two nights. So it's a three day trip and I'm going to be setting up about 15 possum tracks along the way and then hunting this little clearing with my rifle in the evening and the morning and hopefully get some So this is the 243, this is dad's old gun and I'm using 80 grain bullets. So I'm just going to follow along this game trail for about an hour and then start setting traps. So I've just attached the rifle to my pack and it keeps grabbing sticks along the way. I don't know what the best way is to carry it. And my pack might potentially weigh over a third of my own body weight and I'm like falling over and the wet boot commitment has begun just got it finely balanced there First trap set. Boop. And I'll just cover it up the chain a little. I'm really cold. I'm completely drenched. It's been raining for the last three days, so when I came into the bush, there's just like a lot of moisture and water on the trees. And from my up to about my thighs. It's also soaking wet because I've been walking through the creek when I can because it's a lot faster moving and I'm placing traps on either side. I've been walking for two hours and I've, I'm about to set my fourth trap. So, yeah, not quite halfway and still got 11 traps to set. Ooh. Cotton balls covered in Vaseline and tire tube. Fire's cranking now. I have to be honest, it took me a couple goes to get the fire going. The wood is wet. Super damp. But I've got it all laid out around the flames so it will help it dry out. Yep, 
caught you once again. Oh, oh, no, you can't have that one. That is my personal drinking water. You can have a bowl though. Okay. Just jumping around like it's nobody's business. Because it's not. It's got a good grip on that tree. So I'm just going to put the camera away and deal to him. Got a big boy here. Gonna pluck him and then move along. Last trap of the day, and as you can see, this possum has gotten away. Set off the trap, taken a little run, and whatever little bit was connected got loose. Bugger. First possum of the morning. He has dragged himself into a hole. It's going to be a challenging one to get out. Holy, he is wedged in there good. Another trap set off with no possum in it. Some number five today. I mean, another good size buck. Watching and we'll see you next time.